about that. Oh. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Ally recently just started evading his ban because I'm pretty sure he either the allegations were false or something. So this is his first tournament back, so he's out of local. And so that stream is blowing up and has the highest view count besides G7 and Evo. But that's enough about that. Getting into the tournament, something I can't really see, but I'm sure things are happening. You know what? I'll just move my head. Oh, there we go. We got Weep It versus Corn. This is definitely like the glow up versus the anti glow. Corn's such a great character in Smash 4. Now reduced to uh, just not a lot of picks, really, except for that time when, you know, recently Cosmos did reverse 3 0 to Buzz with Corn. He was able to just kind of. He really played Smash 4 Corn, and it ended up working because no one really knew the matchup. And then we have Wii Fit, who wasn't a great character in uh, Smash 4, but in Ultimate, just a monster for character. A lot of the things that really changed about her is just that, you know, she has that deep breathing limit, and just her moves hit so hard, jumping right into that uh, that medicine ball. He was back here in, in the blast zone. Not really the time you want to be doing that. Igly buff off to a great start. Uh, just jumping right out of the jabs. Uh, radio kind of just pressing a lot of buttons, not really trying to avoid anything that Nickley is throwing out at him. But I'm not going to count him out just yet. All right, up throw, up air, doing a lot of damage again. Nickley Buff doing a great job to make sure that deep breathing is on uh, on deck. I don't know how that backer didn't hit, but we know we'll take that. All right, radio now resetting back to neutral, gets hit by the medicine ball again. Wow, Nickley Buff had so much time to launch that up. Oh my god, the bite didn't even hit him! Jumps right into the medicine ball again. But we're still here. Up throw. Not gonna hit anything yet. Alright. Radio finally back to stage. Get that get that medicine ball away from me. Oh, air dodge is off stage. Not a recommended move to, to do. So now Igly Buff up three stocks to one. Are we gonna see a three stock here? The way he's playing, I would not doubt it. Gets a big F smash, not gonna get the tipper though. It's big jab, not even gonna try to end it. 40%, this is not looking good for radio. All right, let's go that down throw. I think we might be seeing three stock here, folks. Down throw, I'm really surprised you didn't go for it in the fourth though, going off stage. Radio gets a jab in, kind of jumping into it. Oh, that big back air coming up, going off. This might be it. Oh, I like that he I like that he held down on the up B to get him off and, and that he uh just got some good damage coming in, so he just really needs one hit and he'll be able to get the kill, but that's gonna be a three stock for Igly Buff on game one. Going into game two now. We're going to be seeing no switches from either player, which doesn't really surprise me. All right, down throw, not getting the back air. All right, I'm back. I right, guess the pin jumps over it, jumps over the medicine ball. Gets that down tilt. Oh, big downer coming in. Only 26% on Igly Buff, and he's got his deep breathing already locked. 21% of a one back here. Limit's broken. All right, gets that big F smash, but at the uh, base hit, so not gonna be as strong. Trading with that grab goes into the jab. Mm 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this game's wild. Anyway, they're good buff now up two stocks, and he's already getting damage in. This could be over for our boy Radio. But let's see what he can do. Finally gets a grab, back throw. Tries to get the charge on the Dragon Bite. Oh, didn't realize he had a jump. He double jumped, so that's going to be a 2-0 for Igly Buff. Playing really solid uh, those two games. Igly Buff going to take that one, and he's going to be moving on into the winner's bracket.